What's up, boys? Back with some more Soulstone Survivors. I have some Death Knight stuff I still need to unlock. He actually can't dash, so you're going to need a ton of movement, and you do have a decent starting amount. So that's going to be a pretty big drawback. I also don't really have many points for him. I do have a small chance to collect souls, which will allow me to summon some dudes. And then I have like three more points other than that. I can get a little bit of haste on hit, but that's about it over there. Um, some of his skills mostly seem to be around debuffs. I think I'm going to try that where I can detonate Doom for some bonus damage since he has some cool lasting skills that also apply Doom. Ray of Doom, which you can start with. And then you've got like some more lasting Shadow Doom type stuff over here and here. Sounds cool. Then I'm going to try and grab that and detonate it for some big damage. So, I also have a lot of debuff focus on the runes, synergetic for some extra synergies, a bunch of extra debuffs on hit with everything. I've been trying this one out a little bit, seems kind of cool. Every 25 levels you can get a bunch of legendary upgrades, and you can lock some of them if there are a bunch of good ones there. Bit of survivability, extra rerolls. I get the second skill, which is that one lasting aura shadow doom skill. And then I'm more likely to get shadow stuff since I want a bunch of that. And then over here, I still need to unlock some of the higher difficulties here. And that's good because I don't have many points for this dude, so he's still pretty weak. So I start with the laser beams, looks pretty cool. Gonna be focusing on a bunch of stuff like that. And I don't have any dash abilities, so it's going to be very hard to dodge AoE abilities in like a split second, you'll have to know exactly where you're going a bit ahead of time. So these are kind of bad, let's do a reroll, see if we can get some higher rarity. Movement speed will be very helpful. And I have a slash skill in front of me which gives me a little bit of multicast as well as applying some doom. I think Doom does an AoE damage when it kills stuff, so I can grab that already and start detonating stuff. Probably not ideal, but I'll lock it in anyways. Looks like a bit of an AoE around me. Multicast on Obliterate. I'm going to be replacing that eventually, so that seems useless to me. Probably just take a bit of cast frequency here. I hope I have Bloodlust available, since that would help a lot with cast speed and movement speed. Actually, didn't check that. Oops. Area of Effect on Obliterate, going to replace that. I guess I'll grab the Burn to get that online. To go with some synergies that that can help apply. We got Death Vortex, those are both lasting as well. But I want to go on the Doomy Shadowy stuff. Looks like a multicast on the laser there. Some more movement speed, sure. Oh yeah, I'm actually out of resources for some of the weapon crafting, so I should be looking around for some of that. Death Vortex is fine. I probably don't want any more of that. Cast frequency, that's probably better than one rarity higher pure damage on one of the skills. They've added so many new rep so many new weapons and stuff that I'm actually out of resources for them. So Shadow Orb fits perfectly, very nice. Also has a useful debuff, increasing crit damage, I think it was. And then the huge body mass you see at the top of the passives that this guy has actually allows you to run straight through enemies as well, I believe. A lot of other characters just get stuck on them. Obliterate and Shadow Grasp. I'm curious if that will increase the instant damage detonation to 20%. Okay, it does, so that will give some big doom scaling as well by increasing that skill. Area of Shadow Grasp. That's probably fine. So I don't see anything with lasting here. 
There we go, void, and that will pull enemies in and apply it as well. Multicast of Shadow Orb, that's fine, I'm keeping that. So I will need to be a lot more careful with bosses because I don't have the dash to split second move out of that stuff. So I need to be very aware of where their next AoE attack is going to be. Shadow Orb, area, area. Let's take the damage on Shadow Orb. I think it does apply to status effects applied by those, so 202. And that's now 274. Bloody Saw is lasting, but I only have one slot left. I have all of these full with the stuff I want. I'm just replacing that. So there might be a buff or something I want there, but I'll grab this for now. Poisonous, I don't have that yet. Area on Void, probably take the global upgrade here. I wonder if you can get enough movement speed to where the shadow lasers can just constantly stay on them. Don't need any of those. Uh, let's take the global upgrade. Survivability might be important for a character that can't dash. Try and run with her. I actually kind of got it for a bit there. Amount of souls you gain. I really don't know if that's going to be useful, so I should probably just banish that stuff. Critical damage of them. Let's take the doom damage. 30% is a pretty big increase to my main debuff. Cast a shadow, you can trigger a swing. And that will be my detonate skill. That doesn't sound that useful, but it is purple. Since it's going to be detonating the damage anyways, don't need any of those. Multicast, pretty nice. Area or health. I think that's going to be fine. Probably just take the global upgrade here. Guys, all the way up here. Try and run the laser on him. Multicast or vortex, sure. None of those. Let's see if we get anything higher. What? Oh. Damage on the physical applies to two, but I'll probably be replacing that if there's any cool buffs. But 50% for Shadow Grasp is not bad still. Yeah, I kind of ran in there, so I'm not going to be keeping that. I don't think that's going to be useful. Since it fully detonates all the stacks anyways. So I'm just going to take this one. I'm not limited by the number of casts on that. I'm limited by the doom I'm stacking in between the casts. Run with the laser a little bit there. Don't care about those. See if we get anything higher. Area, health, I guess I'll take the global upgrade at the highest rarity here. Area, cast, global upgrade there. Man, if Death Knight doesn't have any buffs available, that's actually going to be pretty bad for me. Area of effect, sure, let's grab that. I'm not really seeing anything that does have finesse on it, which is pretty useful. So if I don't see anything soon, I might just start scaling that. Doom on everything is great. I was really hoping to have Bloodlust, or the Multicast, or the Cast Speed things, wherever those are. 
but I might just not even have them on this suit. Area damage. Let's grab that on the shadow orb. Oh yeah, I should be looking around for materials. Uh, don't think so. Burn into slow, sure. It's been such a long time since I needed any of the materials in this game that actually feels kind of weird looking around for them. Cast speed, not bad. Area, area, that affects a lot more stuff. Get some damage in while he's facing away. That is going all over the place. Shadow spikes, nothing great with lasting here. Shadow and a swing. I already have that, right? Yeah, so I probably don't want any more of those. I guess I'll take that since it's purple. Poison, probably not. Multicast is good though. Area of effect, that will affect a lot of stuff. Don't think so. Block, probably some movement speed. Actually, can move him with a laser now. I will probably take that to get it out of the pool. Not giving up that much for it. Big multicast, cast frequency. Those are both pretty good. If I do have any buffs available, then cast frequency is a bit better. But it actually doesn't seem like I have any. The little pet dudes are actually making me take a lot of damage by baiting enemy abilities towards an area that I'm running to. So those actually seem like a bit of a downside right now, but maybe I just need to play a bit more carefully around that. Probably not poison. Might want to just ban that stuff so I'm more likely to get doom based stuff. Yeah, let's go ahead and take all of the non-Doom stuff. Whenever you apply Doom and a burn, it's fine since I don't have one of those yet. Applying more stacks will probably let me apply more of the synergy-based stuff. Skill of swing increases damage on everything else. Not bad, 12% on basically everything. Nope. Apply burn, a portion is dealt instantly. Uh, that might be useful to have one level in that, maybe, since I'll have a lot of other things that synergize and apply burn. I'll grab one level since it's purple. Apply slow into disarray. 
gives a random damage increase, and it says it's all damage, so I would think that works on damage over time. Damage avoid. A basic global upgrade is probably better than a green to a specific skill. Trying to run a bit with a laser. Yeah, it doesn't seem like I have any full-on buff skills. That's actually pretty good though, multiple things and then reducing their damage as well. But I think I'm just going to stick with these and turn that on now. See if we got any higher rarity, bit of armor power, sure. Survivability will probably be pretty helpful with no dashes, so I don't mind getting that whenever it's the highest rarity. Area of Ray of Doom, eh. Critical chance at green. There's actually a rune you could have used to unlock Bloodlust for this character, which probably would have been the play, since movement speed is so important and cast speed is just one of the best stats in the game. So we've got our legendary level, damage to two, damage or er, area to two. These aren't really that exciting. Damage is pretty good since that detonates my doom. So I think I will take these two. That guaranteed legendary rune does seem kind of cool to get a lot of value out of your lockdowns though. I think I am liking that so far. Got the multicast now. Poison and Doom, that would have been pretty nice. Oh well. Saving my lockdowns for legendaries. Got my knights up, so I have to be a bit careful since some of the enemies target them. See what else there is. Damage of them. Let's banish that. Uh, see what else there is. Don't have any XP yet, so that would be pretty helpful in the long term. Farm a bit of XP and then you can grab the crystal as a magnet. Damage on Void, that's okay. Not amazing since it's just a one skill, but it does at least apply to the status effects on that skill.
Critical strikes bleed. I don't think I have that yet. Poison into Doom. That's one of the best ones I can get for a Doom focus build. Damage, sure. Cast frequency, damage on lasting is extremely good here. Five skills and the debuffs they apply. That's basically everything since the one skill that it doesn't increase just detonates them for bonus damage anyways. So the damage of that one scales off the other skills anyways. That's the that's a global increase. damage or movement. I think I want to keep this because if I get to a point where I can't move out of stuff, I'm just going to die pretty much instantly. Doom and a burn. I have that already, so I should probably banish that. I have that and that. That's probably the biggest increase. And on we go. So I got some new unlocks already. Very nice. New weapon and a rune it looked like. And then I need a bunch of levels on Death Knight to unlock some of the stuff in their skill tree. I wonder if you could do a summoner based build where you're scaling up all of the Ebon Knight based stuff. Multicast on Bloody Saw. Crit chance for everything I have based on Swing. Those are both pretty good. That also gives some multicast from having higher finesse stacks. Let's grab the much higher rarity. I would imagine that's better, but I'm not positive on that. But yeah, grab all the passive scaling up the Ebon Knights and go for like a type of summoner maybe. Those are... That's probably better, but in the long term, higher rarity is probably better. Since I'm going to be focusing Doom damage whenever it's available and one of the better options. I have that already, so I can probably banish that. Swing increases multicast of basically everything, so that's definitely better now. Bleed into poison, I don't have that yet. Damage of Death Vortex, eh. Uh, cast Frequency. That at least allows it to apply more debuffs. Bleed into Poison. I have that already, so I should probably banish that. Damage of every burn. I don't think that's going to be very good. I have two specific skills, so I'll probably just reroll that. 
damage on a lot of stuff that's very good. Bunch of weak stuff. Pretty strong. 50% to my detonation and bloody saw. Poison into Doom, that's decent. I keep thinking those big red circles are the enemy's abilities, but that's my bloody saw. Should probably turn that down a bit. Multicast, I guess I'll take that over white upgrades. Poison, I have that, so take the movement speed. One thing I'm not sure on is if you have something like Poison Applies Doom, does applying a higher damaging Poison then apply more damaging Doom? Or not? So that's good because that's all Doom that... Well, that's all attacks that can apply Doom. Armor, sure. Armor, blocking... Got our legendaries here. These are all pretty good. That's extremely good. Um, do I lock all of them? I do have nine, so I may as well. 48 to basically everything, wow. Oh, I guess if you do that, you have to lock one of these again, so you probably shouldn't lock two of them, oops. Yeah, I have a ton of movement speed, and those circles are still a bit difficult to avoid. Area, attack slow... I don't think I have that yet. Multicast of Swing, Shadow Grass and Bloody Saw. I don't think multicasting that really does anything since it just detonates them instantly. That is useful, but that's probably better. Damage of every bleed, nah. Area, eh. Multicast or area there. Take the higher rarity global thingy. Apply poison. I'll get one of those, I guess, just in case it's any good. Damage of Shadow Grasp. That's fine since it detonates the doom and amplifies it. That's actually one of the best single skill damage increases I can get actually. Since it scales off of all of my other skills. Damage of Ray of Doom. That's actually pretty good. 30% to all doom.
critical strikes, that would be pretty good to have. There's also a poison version of the debuff detonation that the Death Knight has as well. Although I'm not sure if that would be as good because poison actually spreads in between the enemies. So you might just want to leave it up instead of detonating it. Critical strikes. Critical strikes. Man, even that tiny doom still does quite a bit of damage due to the huge multiplier on it now. Multicast on Shadow Orb, not bad. See what else we got. See what else. Critical strike supplied doom, sure. Critical strike supply slow. XP, poison, I have that. Probably the XP here. Area, that seems a bit more globally useful. Wing increases crit chance of everything else. That's not bad. Attacks, apply poison. I have that. That's Decent damage. Don't love losing movement speed, but it's the best one there. Let's see what else we got. Nice cast speed. I'm actually not sure if you get crafting materials on the Overlord stages either. Uh, I guess the global upgrade here. If you do, then my AoE attacks are probably just killing them instantly.
critical strike damage. Let's take the doom thing here. Doom stuff. Shadow into swing. That's okay if I get extra bloody sile. That's actually pretty good. I guess I'll take that. Getting free casts on that should give me more multicasts and more debuffs and stuff. Big Doom Detonation once I get in range. Damage on those is excellent. Area is okay. Multicast on that. I actually like all of these, but I'm definitely taking that. So it's between these two, I'll probably take area for five of my skills over that. So another rune, and I should be getting close to another weapon unlock, I think. And I'll also have higher curse unlocks for this map now. So big area, that's not too bad. Getting such a large area increase to my main skills will also give me a lot more Doom stuff. Let's grab the XP here. Since Void and the Vortexes are pretty random with what they hit. Let's see what else we got. I kind of don't want to be taking a lot of that. I'm just going to grab this for now. I have decent movement speed, but it's not like super comfortable right now. So I'm gonna pass on reducing that for a bit. Disarray applies bleed. I don't think I have that. Increases multicast of everything. Let's see what else we got. Block or slow into disarray. That will increase my global damage basically by applying more of the disarray when I slow. More multicast for everything. Dam or area of shadow grasp. Eh, this is probably the most globally useful. Let's see what else we've got. Area. Probably the doom damage here. 30% on that's still pretty big. Area of shadow, not bad. Damage of every Doom, very nice. Poison into Doom is pretty good. I don't think I care about that now. Let's 
Let's see what else there is. Critical chance is decent. Area modifier, eh. Let's see what else there is. I guess cast frequency on one of the shadow skills is decent. Poison and Doom is pretty good. Eh, I'll just take that. Don't have that many rerolls left right now. Oh my god. Like, 10% of his HP is Doom. And the detonation just kills him off of that. It's up to 840% of the damage detonated. More doom damage? Shadow... into an instant cast of swing. Let's see if we got something higher, that's okay. That might be better, but oh well, that's a lot higher rarity. There goes the detonation. Oh, there is one of those for Doom as well, nice. Applied Disarray into Bleed. I don't think I have that so useful for synergies. Damage modifier for almost everything. Area of shadow, not bad. Damage or area, I guess probably some more movement speed. So my doom detonation is hitting pretty much the entire screen I can see now. Got the legendaries now. Area of physical for two skills, not amazing. Multicast on Shadow Grasp doesn't really do anything, so this is a pretty weak level. I could grab that just to get the extra buffs from that. I might not end up using all of these, so I guess I'll take that. There's kind of a limit on how long I can do a run, because this game is pretty active on your wrists. So you kind of put a lot of strain on that. And then also, you don't really want to be doing like a multi-hour video anyways. Grab the extra multicast on Bloody Saw now. But mainly I don't want to mess up my wrist. Uh, pretty nice AoE. Damage of Shadow Orb is okay. Let's see what else we got. That's probably better. Damage of Shadow Grasp is quite good.
Alright, those guys are just melting now with the massive detonations poison into doom. It's up to 900%. Winter Sorrow, I... That might be the last weapon that's available for them now. I'm not sure on that. But it looks like I'm getting basically all of the unlocks I needed here. Poison into Doom, not bad. Swing into crit chance for everything. You know, Shadow Grass can probably crit as well, amplifying that much further. Damage modifier for almost everything. Doom damage. Actually, that might be too strong if it can, because I think damage over time effects can crit naturally. Uh, that's probably fine. I could look for some higher rarity, though. Crit chance. Let's see what else we got. Damage. Eh, ah, it's fine. Damage on Death Vortex. Let's see what else we got. Damage of every Doom is quite good. At green. Shadow Grasp. That's actually one of my better damage increases. Area. Probably just take the global upgrade here. See if there's anything better. That's not too bad. Chance of blocking. Damage on Shadow Grasp is great. Burn, instance, nah, void, or just some global area. Got some legendaries. One of your swings can cast instantly. Multicast of Ray of Doom. That does give me more multicast. Bit of armor. Disarray into bleed, probably not. Oops, that was kind of bad positioning there. Damage on Shadow Orb. That's probably better. Got the legendaries here, multicast on everything, Ray of Doom. Multicast on Shadow Grasp, of course, won't really do anything, so I'll take these two. Well, I'm just assuming it won't do anything because logically that makes sense. But they might have it so that multicast would actually just like snapshot the damage that they currently have that's it's going off. In which case it actually would be a very strong stat. 
but I just don't know the mechanics of little intricacies in between the various skills in the game that well right now, since I've only done a couple videos on it recently. Doom, Let's see if there's anything better. Shadow Orb, I would like to have some more movement speed. Poison Doom. Disarray Bleed, nah. Doom, not bad. Multicast on Bloody Saw, that's decent. Although I do have a lot of multicast on that now, and it's only putting me at like 20 to 35 multicast. Damage Array of Doom, eh. Probably not. Critical Strikes Disarray, that's decent. Slow into Disarray, not bad. Although the third one was something to do with Shadow Grasp, I should have checked that a bit closer there. Movement. I don't feel like my movement is good enough to be taking a big penalty to that right now. some decent rolls. I guess that's okay. Eh, probably just the doom thing here. Getting area to just one of my skills seems pretty bad when I've got several legendaries increasing the area by a huge amount already. Critical chance for almost everything multicast. Does that work on Shadow Grass? No, because that's a swing. If it worked on Shadow Grass, I would definitely take that. But it does affect four different things. And I do have a lot of crit dependent stuff and my crit is a bit low right now still. Doom, instant damage, sure. Crit chance for a bunch of stuff. Damage on Shadow Grasp is very good. Damage of area. That also works on Shadow Grasp, so that's probably better. Area, I guess it blew. Poison, nah. Multicast. Oh, 
bunch of decent stuff here. Probably the Global Doom. Cast speed. Cast speed again. Damage of Doom. Multicast of almost everything. Slow to Disarray is not bad, but it seems better. Area or damage on Shadow Orb. Oops, I didn't see that until too late. Crit chance. Got our legendaries here. Area modifier on two, probably not super important. And I don't think multicast would work on that. Damage on magical is fantastic though. Area, probably not. Nope. Maybe a bit more disarray debuff. Some global damage. Eh, I'll try that. Relentless or Doom. I think this is actually better. If I'm doing over 12 times the damage of Doom, then doing 40% of it instantly doesn't sound like it would actually help me that much. But this will actually allow me to stack more Doom and then get bigger explosions with that. I don't know the math, that's just what makes sense to me. Okay, I shouldn't have lowered my movement speed. I've made a huge mistake. Bleed, no. Doom, I suppose. Yeah, I could use a bit more movement speed now. Maybe I should have just banned Leviathan on this character. Movement speed is just so important to him. I think it was a mistake leaving that in. I'm getting a bit too slow to dodge some stuff now. Oof. 
Oops. I took my hand off the keyboard for half a second and those came out really fast. Uh, definitely not Leviathan. Slow or health. Uh, I guess I'll take that since it's a blue. Bleed, nah. I could probably use some more crit chance. There's a lot of stuff reliant on that. Area, probably the global damage there. Cast. I could definitely use some movement speed right now. I think the biggest improvement for this character would be using runes to unlock Bloodlust and maybe banning Leviathan. It's generally pretty good. If you had Bloodlust, you could probably use that a bit more. I only really take it when it's high rarity, but it's still resulting in me taking a lot of extra damage here. Bloody Saw. Damage of Death Vortex. Damage of Swing. That works on Shadow Grasp, so that is pretty good. I think that probably is my biggest damage scaling here. Crit damage. Crit damage. Area. I think this is going to be my last cycle on this run. The super heavy movement is kind of making me need a break for my wrist. Damage of Rhea Doom, that's probably better. I don't have that much longer in the run anyway since I am starting to take a lot of damage. Poison, nope. Yeah, I'm almost dead anyways. I walked right into that. Let's see, Doom is okay. It's getting pretty hard to hit these bosses because there's so many effects on the ground. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I definitely needed a bit more movement speed towards the end there. Having Bloodlust would probably be the best thing you could do. Maybe banning Leviathan, not sure on that, but it looks like I got a lot of the unlocks here. Shadow Grass, number one, since that was detonating the Doom at over 12 times the damage. Shadow Orb, actually pretty high up there as well. Got some big multicast to that early on, I think. Lots of materials. But I had 
basically nothing unlocked for the Death Knight, and now I should have a lot more 75 points. If I had this thing maxed out, giving me a lot of haste whenever I cast it, that would have helped a lot there. Damage modifier is pretty good. Duration, chance on souls. That seems like the highest value. New rune. Active skills so you can get your skills online a bit earlier. Don't know that I would use a slot on that though. Some global block power for all of the characters. A bit of area for that class. Movement speed and damage. Big pickup radius actually. Although you can always get the crystals for the magnet. Damage by a varying amount cycling over time. I guess it's okay for two points. Global ice damage. Ebon Knight stuff, critical damage, and all damage taken for that character. So my Death Knight is already a lot stronger than it was. And I get a couple boosts to all my characters. All power-ups will have at least uncommon. Only two choices. It sounds alright, but I don't think I would spend a slot and some points on that. Some global damage. 13 points left still. And the night stuff. Multicast. HP. Cast frequency is good. Multicast. Two points left. 5% crit damage is not bad. So yeah, Death Knight way stronger now. Couple global upgrades. Still have a ton of trees I need to work on. But I'm starting to thin the achievements down now. But... I also have some weapons, still need a bunch of materials for some of them. Target direction, gaining bulwark and finesse, so that's block power and multicast I think. And then that apparently does the same. Might be able to do some sort of block power or finesse thing on him. I think there was that thing that scales with block power, slashes in target direction causing damage multiplied based on your block power, then you get some more finesse multicast chance on that. There's also a buff somewhere that gives you like cast speed or something based on your finesse stacks. You might want to unlock that with a rune for this dude, but bloodlust would have helped a ton. But that's going to be it for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.